Hey, you guys. Maybe we can we can start uh, with um, what what are one thing that you have done in the new year? Because we have like extra holiday, right? <laughs> Is there anything that you do for the new year, or you were just like me? I did not do anything. <laughs> Sorry, in Joho we don't have any extra day, so oh, we yeah. have work on a new year. So uh, we started our new year with the work life. Ah, uh, <laughs> of course, of course. School started like a week before for the teachers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Is it any different to you, uh, Jinsan? Uh, because you normally school they they ask teachers to come back like a few days earlier. Sometimes it, it like, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so, for Gotoro, yo. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. How about you, Siti? How's the new year like? Um, uh, our school start on the third. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything on New Year. <laughs> um, maybe because it was raining heavily. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Christmas this year. Um, after three years not celebrating it with the family, so mm. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Um, welcome back, everyone. This is the um eighth session for our global teacher conversation. I know we have skipped a lot of weekends. Uh, and a lot of sessions. I uh, apologize for that. My health was not uh, very good um, over the years, especially last year and, and in the beginning of this year. Um, so anyway, I hope to be better <laughs> this year and I hope everyone's health and my health as well will get better eventually. So um, let's kick off this year's um, session. Uh, a little bit of Zoom norms. I know you are familiar, you're all very familiar with it, um, but let's just go over through this. Um, in case that we have clashing sounds or audios, uh, it will be uh, appreciated if you can mute while you are not speaking. But always be present or we want to see your face, so uh, switch on your video whenever possible. Um, participate actively, don't be shy, ask questions, answer questions, um, and um, use the uh, chat function, uh, use the audio functions, okay? Right. Uh, our most important principles have always been the UTC pillar principles. And the three principles are respectful, that we're being mindful of how we speak, behave, and communicate with each other. And we're supportive. We give the space and time for our partners, and we um, encourage each other. We also participate in a way that we show interest, we ask questions, and we answer questions as well. Right. Uh, I'll walk you through uh, simply what will happen tonight. So this is a very like a synthesized um, version, not very long. I hope uh, we can catch up slowly. So we'll do uh, a simple plenary activity and then we'll do a topic uh, introduction for tonight. Uh, our topic for tonight is skills and competencies that we'll do a little bit. Um, instead of go really going through skills and competencies, we're going through a little bit uh, a different activity tonight. We'll do uh, two breakout sessions. One uh, is for our uh, topic tonight, and then two is for our classroom stories. And then we'll close up with our quarter time and some announcement. Right, here in keywords, maybe some of you have learned, uh, have, have heard about keywords, uh, what usually people look into uh, throughout the years. Uh, I know it's the year 2023, but uh, 2023 has only just begun. So um, do you know what are some keywords for the year 2022? Can you guess what they are? You can just unmute and, and maybe you can just guess. What do you think are the keywords for 2022? Oh, I see. Ah, Jin San said COVID 19. Okay. City, uh, Hema. So, determination, election. Okay. City, what about you? What do you think are the keywords to 2022? 
Oh, Jensen said flood. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see one, two, three, four, five. Bailing school. Ballet. Okay, that's <laughs> ballet. Ballet. School works. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Oh, Menteri Baru. <laughs> we got seven, maybe three more. Let's see three more. Anwar. <laughs> Anwar, okay. Two more. Maybe two more. Hey, Ma, Siti. Tanah Runtuh, Tanah Runtuh, that's sad, right? Okay, one more. Sabah also think of changing. Uh, Sabah also think of changing, that's too many words, Siti. One word. <laughs> Usually it's one word. STG, okay. It's okay, it's okay, you don't need to be sorry. <laughs> Political, okay. All right, we got quite a few. All right. Now I will show you what are the words that are representing the keywords for 2022. Okay. Uh, let me stop share for a while so I can share you a new one. Hold on. Okay, so while I was looking into uh, what we can talk about uh, in the 2023, one of the things that we can talk about in, in the starting of the year is what was to the last year was about, right? And what, what do people look into, what keywords are in the 2022? So keywords, when people say keywords, um, usually people will uh, come up with what are the most searchable words on Google? So, uh, every year, Google will do a, a list of ranking, ranking from one to 100 to uh, words that are most searchable on Google, right? So I will share with you guys. So if you see here, ranking number one is Facebook. So Facebook is still relevant, guys, even though it's Instagram and all that. So number two is YouTube and then Amazon, which we don't use as much, right? Number four is weather. It's amazing how people always search weather. Uh, five is Walmart. We don't have Walmart, but I guess a lot more uh, Walmart is built um, in other sides of the world. And it's amazing how on Google, people also search Google because it's on number six. Right? So if we go on, let's see if we have some of your keywords that you guessed just now, like COVID-19, right? Let's see. So we have Wordle, Gmail, Google Translate, Yahoo, Costco, Fox News, Starbucks. Amazingly, food near me. <laughs> people still, whatever the situation is, when we start the pandemic, people like, oh, food we can do at home. Food near me, food deliveries, and 2022 people still looking for food, food near me. That's amazing. Uh, and that, uh, Instagram, Translate, still Translate, Google Maps, Best Buy, Walgreens, McDonald's, restaurants near me, food again. <laughs> Amazon Prime, we don't have, we don't really use that. Mm, weather tomorrow, still weather. Mm, Chick-fil-A, food. Mm. Let's see, Twitter, uh, Bank of America, we don't have that. Calculator, mm, Google Docs. We have Etsy, Netflix, Taco Bell is food, again. Sheen, YouTube TV, gas station, coffee, Roblox. Roblox is number 60. Yeah, I know how famous it is, especially uh, like school kids. We, we even have competition, Roblox competition at schools. Uh, one of the schools I went to um, in Perlis last year. So some of the kids that were supposed to be in our program did not make it to the second day because they are 
uh, representing their school in a Roblox competition. Hmm. Let's see, restaurants, food again, Pizza Hut, food again, Domino's, Chipotle, food, Google Classroom, make it to the 68 uh, most search uh, keywords. Burger King, Facebook login, people forgot their Facebook login, I don't know. Um, Google Flight, Subway, I'm, I'm for sure that it's a food subway instead of the train subway. Um, breakfast, English to Spanish, that's a Google Translate. Uh, Ikea, LinkedIn, Airbnb, Omega, oh, uh, Planet Fitness Pizza, Spanish to English. And then, yeah, that's it. That's 100. So it's okay. None of our guest keywords are there, but it's okay. Why I'm sharing uh, to you guys this listing, I will share with you uh, in a bit the link to this. Is these are one of the ways that you could also start a conversation with your students. You can ask them like this. What do you think last year was about? If we make it to, okay. So I think election flood, Baling, Tanah Runto, Anwar and all that is relevant to, to 2022 keyword searches for Malaysia, right? So we can do it like this. Malaysia keyword searches for 2022. And we can also widen the, the um, search aspects to the world. So this is according to Google, what are people most search about, right? So looking at this listing, you can start a conversation with your kids. Like, what do you think of this list? Do you agree with this list? Why do you think people search about food so much, right? Um, and there's also another, uh, another follow-up steps to this um, conversation, which is that. Me... All right. You guys are, are seeing the GTC slide, right? No? Okay, cool. Right. So, following up to that, if you could simplify your life in 2022 in three keywords. So, it's different, yeah? Three keywords, not three words. Three keywords. What would they be? I, I'll give you some time and, and that's it. Okay, so City shared challenging, exciting, and happy. Jinsan shared GC, PhD, and COVID. Okay. What about Emma? What are your three keywords? Can I share verbally? Mm, still thinking. There are a lot of <laughs> <laughs> long list. Yeah, you know, I know. Just yeah, you can. So you can one word is a determination. So whatever uh -huh. happened, whatever COVID, whatever, whatever. So please determine mm -hmm. first. Okay. Okay. PhD. Wow, Jinsan. Right. Yes. Hey. I'm so jealous in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Happy for him too. <laughs> yes, yes. What about your two other keywords, Emma? Have you, if you come to them yet? Mm. Positive. Mm -hmm. And one other. Goal setting. Ah, goal setting. How is the determination and goal setting? Uh, would you like to maybe share about one of the three uh, keywords that you shared just now? Means example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what makes you think that this keyword fit what happened? So the main thing is how I'm going to lose my weight. I'm struggling mm. for past years. 
Yes, I really can't make it. Even I joined the member with the Shakely. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Not Shakely, Herbalife. Uh -huh. Tried a few sh uh, shakes. Still, I didn't achieve my target. So, mm. this is my big, big struggle. So, to control my tongue, to control my uh, love towards the food. So, <laughs> it's really challenging. So how I want to control my mind, my, myself, okay, rather think about others. So the focus, the, what do we call, so the focus, the challenge within us is really hard. Mm -hmm. It's easy to us to advise people, but uh -huh. when it comes to us, yes, it's, it's really struggle. True, Since true. we can't do that, don't simply give the free sense advice to others. Right. I live on my diet life. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Agree, agree, agree. Welcome and hello. Welcome, welcome. Right. Uh, thank you for joining, Anne. So we talked about your. Hi. <laughs> we talked Hi. about your. Happy your New Year. Year. Hi, Happy New Year. So we talked about here in keywords now, and um, if you look at the screen, if you could, uh, if you could simplify your life in 2022 in three keywords, what would they be? I'll give you some time to think about that. Well, uh, let's hear from either Jinsan or Siti to share about one Happy of the keywords. Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Jinsan, Siti, any one of you can share about one of the keywords that you shared just now. Who would like to start sharing? Um, okay, maybe me. Okay, sure, go ahead, Siti. Okay, um, it's been um, uh, actually challenging because uh, I applied for GC mm. and I, I never applied before. So mm. it was like, um, I, I am not, I, I feel that I'm not well prepared. Um, I'm just being, I mean, my principal, uh, she advised me to apply for it, so I just go for it mm. without uh, for the thinking and then without for the planning actually. So mm. it's quite challenging for me. So that's the word that I use. Um, uh. Yeah, but I'm not sure uh, the result not come out yet. But uh. I'm not expecting anything to. So I just making it as a as good as possible. So it give me a good a satisfaction to me. And so far, life has been good. So I'm happy for it. No, oh, right, right. I know, I know the result is not out yet, but I, I want to applaud you for for even trying. Um, I'm sure it is because you have done your best. It is because you were so amazing at what you do that the your superior have mentioned to you. Oh, try for this. Other people see what you have done and and what you are able and potentially will be doing in the future. So we all know that you have done great. So uh, before even before the result, I would like to congratulate you first. Okay. So Jensen, let's hear from you. Maybe you can um, choose one from your keyword, from your three keyword, the DC, PhD, and COVID. Which one you want to share with us? Mm, well, since Hema is one of the GC over here, so I will choose another. <laughs> topic which is uh, COVID. Okay. Mm. So now today we 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 feel like uh if you you didn't gonna COVID before it's something unusual. Mm. Okay. Is it unusual? So you see uh, our mindset is is slightly changes okay slightly changed okay at first when we notice that our friends around us our colleagues okay even someone our our love okay like kena COVID, so oh my God, why why uh, you you kena okay why you kena we, we feel so sad about it okay mm -hmm. then at the same time we might think that I am my immune system is very strong so sure I won't I won't get it okay mm -hmm. yeah but um, unfortunately okay the time uh, will come to you okay uh unexpectedly and unaccidentally or un un what whatsoever okay. Mm -hmm. When that like I very agree, like Hema said, if you've never been through the things or that incident, don't simply share your two cents of your opinion mm -hmm. or bits, okay? Because you don't know 
uh, you might be the one who ha <laughs> who will experience that that thing. Okay, right. so it's really very tough. Okay, but uh, I I shared the experience when I couldn't COVID. Okay, because at first, uh, my sis, uh, she is the one who couldn't first. Okay, then mm -hmm. I saw her so suffering. Okay, heavy, uh, fever. Okay. Then is, is she keep on saying that I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, you know, like that. I will feel like, okay. Then slowly change better, and then keep on coughing, coughing, uh, sneaking something else, okay. And then slowly until the, the day of seven, then only uh, recovered, okay. Then the next one is me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. Then, uh, all right. Okay. Anyhow, uh, I've been through the process. Okay. So I know how, how uh, difficult the, the, the period. Like Hema said, uh, if you didn't slim down successfully, uh, don't ask me to do this and do that. Uh. <laughs> okay. So same goes with like, if you never turn on COVID, you don't say, Sila, Sila, I ask you don't go out. You go out. So now you cannot already. Uh, okay. But if you are the one that really you've been through, then if you say something, I uh, mean like the, the kind uh, so called the reminders, I think others will believe that because you, you've been true. Okay. Yeah, so others will, uh, will, how to say it? Uh, it's much more convincible mm. compared with someone they never turned up before. Okay, right. so this is what I would like to share. Thank you. All right, Hello. thank you. Thank I, you, Justin. And are you I ready? <laughs> are you ready with your three cues, <laughs> Okay, 2022. Yes. Um, uh, <laughs> should I? <laughs> okay, uh, the most, um, I mean, uh, Probably it's not three, but I, I will come up with just one. All right. Which I say struggle. Mm. Struggle. It was a struggle. It was a, a really a, <laughs> a great struggle uh, inside out. And it was uh, not easy to, 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 to deal with people, with things. And so uh, I, in fact, I told myself, no. No, it's not going to be like that this year. Mm -hmm. I, 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 even just now, <laughs> the internet was so horrible, and <laughs> again it got. <clears throat> and then friends are calling and telling, "Oh, you are online," and, and then you know, acquisition and acquisition. I am like mm -hmm. sick and tired, so I told myself, "Not no more this year. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to uh, uh, give into all this. I'm going to pick that." Yesterday also I was share, I doing I was doing a sharing. Mm. I was telling the same thing to the group of uh, I mean teachers who uh, we were on Zoom. I was telling this also. In whatever things that <laughs> it I mean I went through the struggle. Mm. Uh, I think I will uh, I I got to learn from that struggle. Mm. I got to learn from that struggle which I've been through inside out with so many things in you know in so many aspects so i told myself this is not going to happen this year struggle in a way that there was a lot of tense tension and it was a lot of uh, pain so it was not so good mm -hmm. so i told myself i would i learned to take the good things and just leave the not so good things so I'm going to like, you know, to embrace positivity. It's not only in words, but in action. So I told myself, so whatever happened in 2022, uh, it's no longer, I'm going to practice this. In mm. So uh, in simple word is, uh, it, uh, going to, it, there's going to be a transformation. I, mm. I hope and I, I hope and pray. <laughs> Yes, thank, you. thank you, Anne, for sharing uh, your cues for 2022. Um, I, I feel you, right? Um, actually, my three keywords, right? Uh, my three keywords are, number one, let's travel. Number two, uh, a sick 
uh, I was sick for quite some time. And then uh, number three is change. And all these changes, like Anne said, all these changes happening uh, around me in my life, in career, uh, in relationships, um, also bring about uh, me also not in my good health in year 2022. I still don't know how my health will be in the 2023, but like Anne, I also want to be better. I also want to get better uh, uh, this year. So um, for those uh, COVID graduates like me, <laughs> I'm like a second tier COVID graduate. I oh. already got COVID twice. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I still don't know what's the right word to say to people that got COVID or, or to prevent people from getting COVID because you don't know. Because you can get from people who didn't even show symptoms, right? So it's never in my place to, to say, oh, because you do this, oh, because you do an uh, in-person um, event, oh, because you don't take care of yourself. No, you can get it from someone else, right? That someone else might not even know they have COVID. <laughs> so, yeah. so I got COVID twice in the span of a year last year. Uh, the, the, the after effect of COVID doesn't really go away. Sometimes I thought, oh, I'm, I'm better now. And then oh, suddenly a relapse, things like this. So um, it, it really affects a lot of things and a lot of changes that happen in my workplace, a lot of changes that happen uh, with planning and all that. So it, like, like Anne said, it's a year struggle. I am pretty sure uh, a lot of people are, are, are sharing the same experiences as well. Like they also feel like they're struggling here and there in the parts of their life. And I want to tell you uh, and, and, and everyone else that this is a phase of life that we are, um, we need to experience, I believe. And as much as we want to stay positive, if you can't, if you can't be positive, it's okay. You can postpone being positive until you feel okay and feel positive. That this is what I want to say. It's okay for you not to feel positive all the time. It's okay for you to feel down. Maybe that's the 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 element or or the the what do you say? The element of journey in life that you need to experience. Sometimes, if you feel too positive in your life, you you kind of miss what is it that you have to learn, right? If you don't feel down, if you don't feel um. If you don't feel helpless, then you don't feel like, oh, this is another hurdle that I need to get away, uh, um, get over. All right. I I hope we we can keep each other in check, and if any of us in need of anyone to listen to or to talk to, we we can help each other accountable, right? Mm. Yes. Yes, Aliza. We 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 have to face it. No matter how careful we are, like me, I think I'm being careful, right? But apparently, it it, it can still affect you. So, if any one of you feel like, oh, I need I need to talk to someone, reach out. Yeah. If any one of you feel like, oh, I need to talk, I need someone to listen to, reach out to people. This um. It is not something that you, it is not something that you feel like, oh, I need to go. Okay. Without um, ado, uh, let me start first. Okay, so our topic is uh, managing project teams. Um, okay, so what I want to say, <laughs> so what I want to say is, <laughs> um, uh, let's, Let's be there for each other. For 2023, let's be there for each other. And this is for everyone, uh, whether this circle or any other circle, right? Okay. Let's continue. So for uh, our session eight, let's talk about skills and competencies like I've mentioned in the email. But there are three steps that uh, we are going to be exercising tonight. Okay, so step one is about identifying strength. 
right? There are a few questions that I want to ask you. Number one, uh, ask yourself, what skills and competencies do I possess? Right? And then, number two, where have I used these skills? And then, number three, the skills have helped my student or the skills have helped my peers or the skills have helped my who? Other people. It could be my family members. Could be my participants. Could be, oh, someone, someone I met to do what? What have your skills helped them with? Right? So I'll give you a three minutes to maybe just list down the skills and competencies that you possess. And where have you used these skills? And if these skills have helped your students or your peers or other people to do what? All right, I'll give you 30 more seconds. Uh, you can keep your notes uh, for yourself. Let's go through step two. My step two is different from the other um, exercise, maybe. Okay, ask yourself, which one is easier to list? So people usually say strength and weaknesses, right? I would reword weakness as challenges. Challenges or strength? I want to hear from you guys. Which one is easier for you to list? If I ask you to list your challenges or your strength, which one is easier for you? Strength. Strength. Okay, you must say strength. What about others? Aisha, Siti, Jinsan, and? What about you? Challenges. Challenges. I say challenges. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Okay. City said strength as well. Right. I would like to hear from Emma. Why do you say strength is easier for you to list rather than challenges? Mm -hmm. So means I have to list down the strength or what? 
Okay, when I tell you or anybody tell you, list down your strengths and challenges or mm -hmm. uh, usually people say strength and weaknesses, right? So which one is easier for you to list? Is it your strength or is it your challenges? Okay, my strength. Okay, why do you think it's easier for you to list your strength? Okay, so why? Because uh, when I'm meeting in a new people, so mm -hmm. we are talking about the challenges, they will uh, frame us as that we are giving the lame excuses to uh -huh. try the new things. And if we are saying that, yeah, I can list down my strengths, then people will look at us as we are positive. We are open-minded. Mm -hmm. So we can do any work with the open people in a, in a community, in a cooperative. So mm -hmm. everyone has the, uh, their challenges. No matter, mm. even our PM new PM was every day. <laughs> I saw the live from our PM at 10 30. 10 30 already, wow, I'm going to sleep. But that fellow I respect. Mm. And he's uh, 75 years already, but he his uh, energy, his uh, enthusiasm to give the deliver a good speech is not easy. Mm. So whenever we are meeting people, always talking about our strength. So right. this one I learned from the Toastmaster Sherry because uh -huh. when I was saying, no, no, I can't do it. No, you know, it's mm. quite a bit challenging. No, they taught us everybody has the challenges, but at the first point, don't say the bad thing about us. Don't downgrade about us. So that one I learned, mm -hmm. learned from that. Another, when we are list down our strength, the third people, they are looking in the bird eye. So they, they have a lot of ideas to implement on us. So that's mm -hmm. the opportunity that we will grab. For example, I, I really eagerly uh, engaged with the Kajian in that kind of action research. So wherever mm -hmm. I go, I always share about the action research. So I actually, I don't know how to do the uh, correct way to write down the action research. But whenever I share uh, those in, a, in front of the party, they say, okay, you can do this, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Even I'm sharing my... Uh, weakness, but I highlighted about my strength. So the third party, they will share a lot of things that really helpful for me. Mm. Right, right. Thank you, thank you for sharing, Emma. Right. Thank you. No problem. Um, there is no right or wrong answer in this. And I need everyone to hear from everyone's point of view. That's why I ask who think that uh, writing this or that is easier. Aisha, maybe you want to share why do you think listing challenges for you is much easier compared to strength? Okay, uh, thank you. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I was bit, uh, a it's bit okay. late. Uh, yeah. Welcome, Aisha. Uh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, I think um, the question is which one is easier to list challenges mm -hmm. or strength? Uh, naturally, it's easier for us, um, human being, to list down uh, the negative things mm -hmm. or issues, um, not only uh, about ourselves and also maybe about other things. Mm -hmm. And from there, we will build uh, the ways to overcome the challenges or it can turn into strength when you identify those challenges. So... For me, uh, when we, you know, uh, just talk to each other or um, have a discussion, it's much easier to write down one, two, three for challenges compared to uh, strength. Uh, specifically for our culture, um, probably uh, it's also influenced by our culture. And I think this is not a um, good side of it because we have to be balanced uh, in order to know our strength and how our strength can overcome the challenges. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Aisha. Um, I, I love the point that Aisha was making about how we are influenced by culture. This is a cultural influence, whereas uh, we humble down ourselves uh, to make sure we don't seem like we're boasting to other people, right? And, and Aisha was mentioning about, or when we talk about other people, uh, it is when we list down, it's easier to list what's not good with us rather than what's good with us, right? Um, I, I want to highlight again what um, Hema would say and, and how she shared about other people saying from her Toastmaster session about image making. So 
people are thinking about, or if you if you talk about uh, the positive sides of you, people will see the positive sides of you. This is the image making that you want to project to other people, right? Mm. What about yourself? Let's see, this is a list that you keep to yourself, right? Is it easier for you to list down strength or is it easier for you to list down challenges? Some people will find it easier to list down strength because this, this is what they have been doing. If this is a practice that they have been practicing. Other, hi, Fadli, welcome. So other people will, and, and most people, uh, including me, myself, Sometimes feel like, oh, I can feel so many, I can list so many things that are not okay with me rather than things that are okay with me. Fadli, welcome. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> happy New Year, Fadli. All right, Happy New Year. So it's been a while. Oh, uh, yes. How are you doing? Uh, busy, <laughs> always. <laughs> All right. Always good, good, good. I hope it's a good kind of busy. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, let me try. It's been a while. I, I'm I'm not really get used to this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can see the screen, right? Oh yeah, I can. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we're talking about skills and competencies, and we're just uh we just got into step two, which is appreciation, and we're talking about which one is easier to list if you're if you're asked to list. Usually, people will use strength and weaknesses, right? Mm. I will rephrase it here as challenges or strength. So um, you can you can follow through uh, with this step two and ask yourself if you are to ask if people ask you to list right, which one would be easier to you, strengths or challenges? I will I I will move on to the next point. Which one is easier to do? Okay, I want to hear from people other than Hema and uh, Aisha this time. Praising other people or praising myself? Oh, cannot. <laughs> okay. I would like to try. Okay, sure. Jinsa, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I will agree with him. Huh? I was so praising myself first. So a little bit like, <laughs> uh, how to say it? Uh? Maybe it's kind of like uh, trying to satisfy ourselves, uh, mm -hmm. satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some sort. Some sort uh. Also, it's actually why we are trying to praising ourselves. At the same time, we are trying to motivate ourselves as well. Okay, like I always heard the 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 common story. Whenever you uh, every day when you wake up, okay, look at the camera, a camera, look at the mirror, <laughs> saying that you are good, you are perfect, you are handsome, you are cute. So all those are positive uh, positive words. Okay, but for me myself, actually, I didn't do it. Okay, <laughs> but you know when we are talking with our friends or anyone else, okay. Uh, very rare. We of course we we will praise others, but at the first time we will praise our first. Okay, yeah lah. Saya baik, saya cemer, saya cantik, saya handsome lah. Okay, so everything will come to oh this is me lah. Okay, uh... <laughs> so we will say good first. Then only we say you also handsome. Or we also and <laughs> uh, we got the end or the but or uh, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Right. So my uh, my highlight is okay praying myself at the same time giving me a uh, self motivation to continue and accomplish the task that I'm doing at the moment yeah thank you thank you thank you Jensen like I said there's no correct sequence to any of this right even for point number one listing your it's not making you a bad person if you say listing challenges is easier for you it's not making you a weak person. And it's not making you like a like a show-off person if you say, oh, it's easier for me to list my strength first, right? There's no correct sequence to this. And there's no ranking that is superior to one another, right? So um, thank you, Jensen, for sharing that. He thinks that praising himself is easier for him to do. Now, I want to listen to Siti. Siti says, Praising other people is easier to do. Why do you think so, Siti?
um, maybe not um, confident enough with ourselves. So that's why I said um, I'm going to learn from him. Uh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe being positive first about yourself, then only you can build a positive circle around you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, uh, uh, Siti. Other people would think um, a different, differently in terms of I praise other people. Next time, people will praise me. <laughs> it's, it's like a deposit they put in a bank, you know? Or I go to other people's wedding. Next time, uh, other people will come to my wedding. Things like that. Uh, so there are, there are people... There are people who think like this. So, like I said, there is no superior ranking in this one. There's no, oh, this this one is, is better than that one. Okay. All right. Now, why I want to talk about skills and competencies and why I want to talk about challenges and strengths. We... We always talk about this with other people, with our superiors, when uh, our performance review is due, right? We talk about this with our subordinates, with our teammates, when they need to be evaluated. We talk about this with other people. But how often that you talk to yourself? Um, maybe some people talk to themselves, like Jin Sun said, every morning, every morning I wake up and look into the oh, camera, I see the YouTuber there. No, <laughs> I talk to a, a mirror and say, oh, you're looking good today. Okay, so maybe some people do that. But how often have you write to yourself? Um, you Let's take a pen and paper, or maybe you can write in your phone using your memo notes. Um, let's write a letter to self. I'll give you about five minutes. You can start with name, your name, not other people's name, okay? That's why it's called letter to self. Your name, you have done well in 2022. And then you list down what you have done well, even for the things that you have not done well. Let's say, oh, there are so many struggles. There's so many set, set um, episodes in my life. In you list down that set episodes. But what happened was, ah, I'm still here in 2023. I survived. And I'm going to do better. Okay. One thing that I need you to remember is, you don't put but, Okay. You just say, I have done well. What is it you have done well? But I think you do A, B, C better. No. Just say, oh, you have, Jensen, you have done well in 2022. This is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you have done, don't say but. Okay? Just, just write down. I'll give you guys uh, five minutes to write. Uh, I'll show this for one minute. Maybe you can look at the format. So far. Make sure you put your name. I have done well with the and this stuff that you have done. It could be about your work. It could be about your family. It could be about yourself. It could be about anything that happened in the It doesn't even, it doesn't even have to specifically be about you as a teacher, okay?
Okay, let's have one more minute, shall we? One more minute, okay? Or do you guys need a little bit more time? I'll give you guys one more minute, okay? <coughs> All right. Hardly do you need more time? <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you guys 30 seconds, okay? You can wrap up and here you go.
All right, let me know when you're done. Okay. Right. Can I move on now, Sadly? <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. I'm done. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, I'll move on to the next step. Okay. All right. Next step is share. Read out your letter to self to your conversation partners. I will partner you up. You for our breakout session, you will be partners in pairs. Okay. Is so, that what you always said? Should we read to everyone here? Is it possible? no, no, oh. no, no. Oh. We have six people here. Oh, six. Oh, okay. Yes. We have six people here, Padli. <laughs> actually, oh, so, so I you have see. pairs. Oh. Yes. So oh. you can read out your letter to self to your conversation partners. I know some of us will be a bit quite shy if we read our letter to self to everyone. So I decided to put you guys in pairs, right? Number two, affirmation. So what you do as a conversation partner, number one is you listen as your partner read their letter to self. And then after they've done reading their letter to self, thank you. Thank your partner for sharing. And most importantly, after you thank your partners, Specify a highlight that you listen from your partners. Okay, sample of this would be, thank you, Fadli, for sharing about yourself and sharing your letter to self. I particularly like, or I specifically like, I really like, what is one of the points in your partner's letter to self that you really like, that you mentioned because, and put your reason. This is if you don't know how to do the affirmation, but if you would like to do your affirmation differently, then you could. But I, I would suggest you guys to do this. Thank you, the name of your partner for sharing your, uh, your letter to self. I really like, what is it that you really like? You mentioned because, what, why do you like it? Okay? All right, you guys ready? If you guys are ready, I will put you guys up for uh, 15 minutes to your breakout rooms. I'll see you guys after 15 minutes, okay? All right.
Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, people. <laughs> oh, I hope, oh, you're not crying, eh? <laughs> oh. Firstly, I oh. haven't finished yet. See? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I know these people. Hi. Later, Fazli, later. Okay, can. Okay, can. The second um, spot. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I know you guys will not be able to, to finish this all. You guys just love to, to give inspiration, motivation to your other friends. It's okay. Um, all right. Uh, maybe one or two of you uh, want to share. Uh, what you have listened from your conversation partner, what have you, maybe a new real realization, maybe not about your conversation partner. I want to share about what uh, uh, Aisha shared to me. Uh, before even reading her letter, she said, oh, this is not something I usually do. I mean, we don't really like talk, talk to ourselves, right? And, and I, I told her, yeah, I, I agree with you. Like talking to yourself, praising yourself, writing to yourself, it's kind of cringy when we don't really do it often, right? And we feel like, oh, why am I writing like this to myself? But um, as I have been doing this over the years, it, it, it's kind of, it, it's something difficult. This is something that you can do in, in the span of five minutes, really. This is just for the sake of exercise. Um, I, I do this uh, every year on my birthday. I wow. always, I, uh, not every year, not don't wow yet. I only started <laughs> like, I only started like two years or three years past. Um, I always make sure I take, I make sure I always, I take an off day on my birthday. What I do on the day doesn't really matter. For example, last year, what I did, I went to KLCC Aquarium as an adult alone <laughs> to an aquarium. So uh, later that day, I, I read a letter to self that I wrote in 2021. And I know I feel cringy all over again because it's like a future, uh, it's a letter to future self. What I did was a letter to future self. What we did today is a letter to past self. It's different, okay? It's different. A letter to future self is you writing in 2022 for yourself in 2023. Uh, that's what I do. So it's different. This exercise right now is letter to past self. Dear me in 2022, you did well. This, 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 this. Mm. Yeah, but even even for my letter to the future me, right? Uh, dear Atika in 2023, you know what? You have done this in 2022. This is what happened so far in 2022. You did this, you did that, you did this. How are you doing in 2023? Is this happened? Does this happen? How does this happen? Right? So as difficult as the first the first word going to come up. For your letter, I think it is a necessary step um, for everyone. Uh, you can try. I know it's cringy. It's cringy for myself every time I do it as well. But <laughs> but I think it's just a necessary process where we need to learn to talk to ourselves as much as we talk to other people, as much as we other people talk to ourselves, right? So maybe one or two of you wanna wanna share. How, how how different it is how how what did you feel when you're writing your letter yeah very badly we haven't heard from you in a while very oh. badly you want to share you mean much. my letter uh uh you can share your letter or you can oh. you can share your experience while writing your letter what 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 how what what do you feel while you're writing <laughs> your letter? yeah wow okay uh like you say that you have to praise yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let just me. I read my letter. Is it okay? I like. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. never done this one. I mean, it's a good exercise actually. You actually brought something up. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I think I should have done this one with the school with the kids. Yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Um. 
Yeah, dear 2020s, Fadli, it's been a while. Well, seven days since you left yourself and you have already forgotten your weekly task, the RPH. Uh, first week of school. I'm reminding myself to get it done tonight because next week is another week. So more work are coming up. In 2022 was rather a challenging year, full with odds and ends every now and then. First, the struggle with the online marking, yet you accomplish it well and gain it a lot. Besides, embarking on this new journey has paved you another road that, that you not taken yet to give talks on Teknik Menjawab SPM to 26 schools. Wow, that's beyond your KPI. I presume you love the fame, right? <laughs> Standing on the stage for the second one has been a normal routine for teachers. But being judged and representing your state in the public speaking state competition 2022 was another different story. You braved that horrendous journey and was crowned the national champion in public speaking 2022 would you like to try it again in 2023 yeah i that's about it <laughs> all right that's great Fadli. thank you so much for thank sharing you. your letter again um right maybe um not a letter not your letter but anyone want to share if this is something that you have not done before, what, how do you feel while writing this letter to self? What are some takeaways that you would like to, to share with everyone? Yes, jin uh, I think it's like an inner talk. Mm. Yeah, sometimes uh, I'm very agree like Fatli. Okay, so keep, uh, in receiving invitation, okay, uh, no matter it's like a talks, uh, being a judges, uh, or uh, being the guru pioneering, okay, to, to guide our students for any competitions, okay, so keep doing, keep doing until like you are like hand brief, even you don't know, okay, but <laughs> you still keep on doing <laughs> because it's the due date is over there. <laughs> Then until until sometime you are feeling like like a very a very very agree with you. Hey, my weekly task have I done? Okay, RP. Oops. Oh my God. Okay, today is Friday for Penang. Okay, maybe for Johor and other say Thursday is the day I need to submit. I say, oh my God. Even sometimes our friend also didn't remind us. But normally I will play the role. Hey. Have you done your RP? Yeah, <laughs> I haven't done. Thanks for reminding. Okay. <laughs> then uh, maybe we'll say, don't worry, I also haven't. Let's do it together. <laughs> okay. So somehow, yes, we're trying to achieve any maybe KBI, like beyond the KBI, but maybe something, some very basic, we we like forget. Okay. So it's time to back to basic. So thanks to these activities, it helped us to like, uh, let have some space, have some time to have some inner talk to ourselves. Okay. So writing this letter is like a motivation and have a quick reflection. Okay. A quick reflect for 2022, what we have done. Since you highlight the good part, so we just like zoot, it's like watching a movie, huh? okay, <laughs> or a very quick some more. Huh? It's like times 16 forward one. Huh? Wow, okay. <laughs> have to jot down. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, this is what I feel. And at the same time, a uh, very thanks have City uh, as my team members. Okay, I learned some uh, takeaway from her. Okay, as I mentioned to her, even though just very simple thing, like what you say, the wiki does. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> Don't forget that first before we move to something else. Okay, so I would like to share over here. The first one is take good care of ourselves. Yeah, somehow we like neglected. We might maybe... Uh, spend too much time on others, but from our me or, or the so called the me time, we didn't do it. Okay, then before you take good care, how do you uh proceed to the next day? Uh, not to say next level, even the next day, uh, <laughs> isn't it? Especially the very 
a uh, simple thing is take a good sleep, enough sleep. Yeah. The second thing is jot down what happened today. Oh, I, I don't have this uh, habit, but I after I get some clarification from her, which is a checklist, I say, oh yes, this I did also. We, we make a very simple checklist, what we need to done by tomorrow, what we done, what, what we did, so that we keep the track. Then the next one, okay, she said, okay, we should have a very productive uh, for this year, I say, oh yes, okay, very very good reminder. But somehow, okay, you say it's okay, still got time, due date not yet, okay, Kayla, we just like hmm, just enjoy, take some tea, gossip with our friends, okay, when time, oh okay, everything will will, will be done, okay, <laughs> yeah. So this is some uh, a thought from me. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, Jensen. And, and thank you again, Fadli uh, and Jensen, for sharing a, a really, really good thought. I, I love how you phrase it, inner talk, right? Because you don't need to say it out loud. Uh, you don't need to say to the mirror, hey, you're so handsome today, right? You don't do that. Uh, it, it rarely ha ever happens. Sometimes it's just, oh, oh, I look okay, and you go up, right? Um, while Talking to yourself via letters, like you said, an inner talk. You're talking to yourself, but you're not talking to yourself. Do you get what I mean? Because you only write things and then you read it. So you're not really, you're not really talking to just past time, but you're really looking, like you said, it's, it's like a, a, the year 2022 flashed. Uh, and it's a, it's a reflection of what happened in the past year. If I could simplify it some more, it's like 2022 in a trailer. A trailer is a summary of a movie. You don't get everything, but you get a summary of it, right? So a summary of what you have done. Like I said, there are two ways to do this. You can do a letter to your future self, or you do a letter like this, a letter to past self. And, and you say, and, you don't say, oh, this is this doesn't this wasn't done well, this 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 doesn't work, that doesn't work. No. A letter to your past self is about appreciating what you have done for the for the past year and how you have survived it and now you are in the new year. Right? If you have not survived it, you will not be here. Right. And as I said, this is actually not four or five minutes exercise. You need to be somewhere away from other people. Just be yourself, just be with yourself and take as much time as you could. I sometimes take as much as like about an hour to finish a letter, just to, to, to skim out everything. And, and, and I will relax and I don't even put a timer there. I don't even, oh, when I finish, oh, it's in an hour plus. Why? Because I keep, I keep sipping tea every now and then when I when I write that letter as well. <laughs> but you can we can you can do your letter however you want to do it. And I I really want to encourage this exercise to be part of your yearly exercise. Think about it as um it is it is good. Uh, um, it is good to hear other people praise you and sometimes it feels good for us to praise other people right but the most important person to praise yourself is ultimately you and not other people so do that as cringy and as difficult as it may be to list out all the good things uh, you have done well over the years do it okay um, and this is also a, a, an exercise you can do with your kids, with your students, with your peers. Uh, think of it like a so, um, social emotional learning um, exercise, if you Okay. And like Jinsen said, if we are not, if we haven't experienced it yet, maybe we should not say anything about it. So maybe you can practice this for a while and you, and when you feel like, oh, this is working for me, and then you can, you can you can also share. And even based on tonight, you can share with your students, other people, how how it help help you look at yourself a different differently, and how it helped you reflect the year. 
and, and see the year in a different light, maybe. Okay? All right. I would say good job, people. Good job on reflecting on the year 2022. Good job on not, not seeing yourself as a failure, right? Because you're still living and, and you're doing well. I want to say that you, you guys have done well for the year 2022. Good job. Right. For our second conversation, we'll have classroom stories. So share your classroom stories with your conversation partner. It could be something that you try and you want to share about. Does it work? What worked and what didn't? Or perhaps this is something that is still puzzling you and you need help, so you ask away. Okay, maybe, oh, this is something that I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do. Maybe you can help me, okay? I will break you guys up in uh, breakout rooms so you can uh, talk with each other and share your uh, classroom stories. It doesn't need to be this year's classroom stories if you don't have them yet. It could be, um, it could be last year's story. Okay. So. I will open the room uh, for 20 minutes for you to share your classroom stories. Okay, all right, I'll send you guys in.
Hello, Aisha. Finally, I see you. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I, I hope you guys have uh, had a fruitful conversation just now. Um, I, I joined Jensen and Anne's um, breakout room just now, and we were talking about uh, what, to, what to do uh, if students suddenly fight and you are the only person that join them. <laughs> oh my god, Patli. Patli, if they are if they are shouting, are, are you going to shout with them as well? Yes, I'll do <laughs> that. If you do the opposite, you know they will be you know beating you up. Them. Yeah. Surprise, surprising. Yeah, it's a reverse <laughs> motivation for them. Yeah. Oh, reverse, oh, reverse psychology. Oh, reverse, that, reverse psychology, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's one of the things that we talked about just now. Okay, so what if your students uh, were shouting and quarreling and crying? Uh, okay, I will cry too. See, see how was, see how was it is weird. But the thing is, we're not living in, in a drama. Okay, no way. Where where, where <laughs> students will just suddenly look at you? Why? So why? can't be yeah. them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they can't be bothered with you crying there. No. Uh, so we were also talking about how. We were psychology. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about. Oh, uh, answers a little bit. <laughs> Yes, and <laughs> all right. So we were talking about uh uh preparation to be a teacher, right? Preparation to be in a classroom. We would talk about uh how we have the skills of, about behavioral management. We have the skills when to do uh rewards and punishment. We know all that, right? We have the theory of it. Uh, we have all the basics, uh, necessary competencies when it comes to teaching. But when in that instant, right, when you're the only one there and your students are shouting at each other, when your students are crying and quarreling at each other, um, uh, fighting, what, what can you do in that instant? Have we have we have we learned something along the line of crisis management in the classroom? We we can handle as much as oh there's a there's a student falling off the stairs oh there's a student who is sick we need to send them to the hospital right uh, but what about fighting in the classroom? What uh, what if some just suddenly one of your students just just cry out of nowhere, just cry in your classroom. How do you handle that? Um, I don't need you to share your thoughts first yeah, because we will keep this for the upcoming sessions. Um, how to do crisis management in the classroom. Do you, think, do you think this is something that will be helpful for, for future sessions? Mm. Yeah. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Aisha, Aisha, wait, what are your thoughts? <laughs> do, you, do you think talking about crisis management would, would help you or do you have like similar experiences in the past as well that maybe could be helpful to be talked about in future sessions? Yes, it's one of the topics that we should dive into, correct? <laughs> Right, we really need people. Uh, before that, uh, I think we really need people who can actually help us, uh, like share like a definitive experience or definitive guideline, right? On 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 how to deal with such issues. Um, what about you guys? Uh, what have you talked about in your rooms, Aisha, Padli, uh, Hema? Oh, we did talk about our classroom stories, what we did with mm -hmm. our students. And mm -hmm. Hema had a great session, you know. At, uh, she was telling us about the projects that uh, she had with her students. So, yeah, marvellous. And uh, Fadli, he just mentioned that he wants to come back to Penang because he misses nasi kandang. Is it, Fadli? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
very much to die for. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay. All right, right. Cool, cool. When are you when are you planning to go back to Penang Madlin? Oh, oh not at the moment. I mean like, <laughs> I have this SPM is coming up, so you got to see the classes. Yeah, I, I apply for EG2 car and every single year, so I hoping <laughs> and hoping and hoping. <laughs> <sighs> Azli, they really need your service more, you know. You cannot go to Pinay right now. Aye, Maybe it's it's coming, a few years. It's, it's 10 years, you know. I, th I, I think they need to do, I think they need to, to come out uh, with the statistics, you know. Like, which one of the KPM system that is most used. I think it's easy to guys. So we'll be like, top of the ranking. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Most like accessed, most, yeah. <laughs> They will not simply release their teachers like Padli, you see? Uh, uh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You're still needed. You're still needed. Yeah. Um, so Jinsen doesn't want to pull me back to Penang. So Jinsen is still in Penang. Right? He should have called me <laughs> to go back to Penang as well. <laughs> you guys can do an exchange then. Yeah. Uh, okay. to your place, you oh, Jinsen come okay. here and teach in the rural area. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right thank you thank you for sharing uh guys thank you for uh attending the first session in 2023 uh this is still the gtc 2022 though we can still have in, uh, had all the sessions so thank you thank you so much for spending your saturday night um with me and the rest of the people thank you aisha thank padli thank you jensen hema and and uh siti who joined earlier um i really appreciate the time that you guys have spent uh to uh to come to the session let me just share a little bit more um just a little bit announcement here all right so our ninth gtc session will be on the 31st january uh, saturday night uh the timing will be the same uh we just look out for email updates as we have done previously we always send you an email as to when's the next uh, session will be Right. Okay. So let's take photo, everyone. Yes, everyone is in the picture. Good. All right. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I'll see you guys in the next session. Thank you. <laughs>